We only have one more thing to talk about in this tutorial. We need to reduce the noise in our image. Again, the noise, if I zoom in here, is all of these dots that you see across the image. We can reduce this noise, but we can't get rid of it completely. To do this, I'm going to go to Filter and Noise and Reduce Noise. And when the pop-up comes, it's going to automatically adjust the image to what it thinks looks good. You can zoom in to see that noise a bit better. And you can see if you click on the image that it shows you the original. And when I let go, it's showing you what it's fixing. And that looks pretty good, but I'm just going to show you the most that you can change is the zigzag pattern. So strength at 10, preserve details at 0, reduce color noise at 100, and sharpen details at 0. Now that fixes all of the noise in the image. However, now you have a kind of blurry effect and you can see how much it's changed the image. You don't want to go quite that far because it makes your image, like I said, very blurry. So I'm going to pull back on each of these sliders a little bit until I've still got some of those details. There we go, that sharpens the image quite a bit. There we go. And I want to leave that pretty low. Maybe around there looks good. And again, I can click on the image to see how much I've changed. And that looks pretty good. As I've said before, we can't get rid of this noise completely without really making the image look blurry. Still want to have some of that detail in there. And once we're finished, we're just going to click OK. Congratulations, you finished this course. I hope you're feeling at least a little less uneasy about using this complex program. Don't worry. Once you have a little practice under your belt, you'll be just fine. Complete the rest of the instructions in this document at this time, and I will see you next time.